Well, hello, my friends. This is old Dr. Dog back at you again, just playing around with this and having a good time. One more, well, just a couple more videos uh, with the correlational analysis, and then we will be prepared to move on. Uh, this is just a brief introduction to the concept of a non-parametric design for correlational analysis. Uh, in order to lay the framework for the non-parametric design, you need to under, uh, recall certain facts about the Pearson R. Recall that the Pearson R requires normality of the variables. This is perhaps one of the most overlooked uh, assumptions of the Pearson R. But when you're comparing variables with the Pearson R, you are assuming that they are normally distributed. In many cases, they are not. Now, the Pearson R is also linear in nature. The correlation that you get uh, indicates whether there's a linear fit. Uh, keep in mind that there are such things as curvilinear fits. And a curvilinear fit uh, with the Pearson R might, might show that there is no correlation when, in fact, there's a very strong curvilinear fit. And also, we will always recall that correlational design does not indicate cause and effect. All that correlational design does is establish that there is a relationship. Now, non-parametric designs do not require normality. As a matter of fact, when you hear non-parametric, then what you need to think is that immediately is that these, or these designs are dealing with non-normally distributed data. They do not require normality. However, they are limited as follows. Uh, the ones that we will look at are linear in nature as well. They give values very similar to the Pearson R, and those values are to be interpreted for linear correlations. And they still do not indicate cause and effect. Uh, to indicate cause and effect, we have to use a different design. All that the correlational design does is to indicate relationships. So they're still pretty cool. They're linear in nature. They do not indicate cause and effects. And of course, they talk to us about relationships or, or associations, correlations. Now, keep in mind that the non-parametric designs do not require normality. Therefore, they fit a whole lot of, uh, fit many data, uh, uh, data sets that uh, the Pearson R will not fit because the Pearson R requires normality. Two basic non-parametric correlational designs imitate the Pearson R when normality does not exist. Now, uh, I'm not saying there are only two. I'm just giving you two, two of the most common. And these are, first of all, the Kendall rank correlation represented with that little Greek symbol. This, this right here is the Greek letter tau, T-A-U. So tau replaces R. R requires normality. Tall is a non-parametric design that does not. The other one is called the Spearman rank correlation, which is represented by the Greek letter rho, R-H-O. Now, Kendall developed the Kendall rank correlation. Spearman developed the Spearman rank correlation. I hope you see a pattern there. If you decide to design some non-parametric correlational design, uh, you can put your name on it and pick your Greek letter, whichever one that you like. These designs provide similar results to the Pearson R for non-normal variables. In other words, you'll get a value that will range between 1 on down to minus 1. You will still have the uh, positive and negative correlations. You will still have the strong, the, the medium, and perhaps the weak to no correlation uh, perspectives on it. As always, I, I want to end by thanking you very much for your support. I appreciate you. Uh, your patronage, uh, again, keeps my family fed. As always, in the Vulcan dismissal in the old generation of Star Trek, live long and prosper. If you see a Vulcan, the response is peace and long life. Have a good one.